Hello and welcome to Switzer Investing Insights brought to you by NAB Trade. I'm talking to Charlie Aitken of Aitken Investment Management. Great to see you, Charlie. How are you, Pete? Now, I wanted to bring you here because we've seen the FANG stocks, you know, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, come off the boil, some of them, some. Those are worse than others. And the question also is, and you've made the point recently to me, that the Chinese equivalents have really been caned because of the, the Trump and the tariff, Trump uh, tariff issues. So tell us, Charlie, let's talk about the fangs. Have they been defanged? And also, <laughs> is this an opportunity, a buying opportunity, for the Chinese equivalents? Well, it's been a real mixed bag. I mean, everyone knows that Netflix fell 20%, Facebook fell 20%, but they're still... Yeah, miles above where they were a year ago. Yeah. But then the results from Apple, Amazon and Alphabet, the parent of Google, were very good. Mm. And Microsoft. So it's been a real mixed bag in American tech. Mm. Facebook seems to have found a level. Even my funds had a little bit of a nibble in Facebook. We you got out of it. Yeah, we got out yet. of them and then, you know, they've, they've done well. But I've got back into Facebook. Yeah. We own some Microsoft. We own some Alphabet. Yeah. You know, they're, they're both solid companies. Yeah. But things like Netflix, you know, they, they have huge expectations. You know, the market cap's $170 billion. You can't put a single step wrong. And the PE is... PE is off the planet. Yeah. But, I mean, that, that, that's because it'll grow into its PE. Its earnings will eventually come. But on the other side of that, you know, anything facing China because of the trade war and strong US dollar has been hit pretty hard, including mm. Tencent, which is a stock I like. It's down mm. about 20-odd percent from its highest. Yes. Alibaba's down. Baidu, the equivalent of eBay over there, is down 20-odd percent. Mm. Uh, Weibo, which is like uh, Twitter, is down about 20 percent. So personally, I think the bats, which is uh, Baidu, uh, uh, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent and Samsung, mm. that the Asian-facing ones are a little bit cheaper than the American ones at the moment. Mm. And there's probably an opportunity there. But it's very selective at the moment. Albeit that you can say that the fangs have had a bad time, but Amazon made an all-time high last night. You yeah. know, like it's very selective. And what I've noticed uh, this week that they're, they're saying that um, MAGA, I, I prefer Gamma, <laughs> that is Google, Apple, Microsoft and Amazon, yeah. ha, 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 aren't in the same class as Netflix and Facebook because they, they're more solid companies. I don't know what the yeah. argument might be, but well, they still well, haven't yeah. been... Treated it as a to be fair to those four stocks, you, you can value them. They're, they're reasonably valued. I mean, at the end of the day, Microsoft on 23 times, Google on 23 times. Mm. But you've got to strip the cash out too. Mm. These companies sit on huge cash hoards of you know hundreds of billions of dollars as well. So their PEs are not that demanding. Mm. Now they're very well owned, and if there was a correction, they'd get belted. We all know that. Yeah. But really, those four stocks broadly pass the earnings tests and continue to sort of track to mm. track to new highs. So. Well, the point is, Pete, it's just becoming a bit more selective. Mm. But I do think that for the, for the investor out there, the Asian-facing tech is now actually quite cheap, mm. whereas the US large-cap tech is just going along on its way in a more selective way. Yeah. If someone wants to get access to, for example, a company like Tencent yeah. in particular, you probably should explain why you like Tencent. For people who haven't followed your, your discourse mm. on this, it is an interesting company, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, to me, it's basically the Facebook of uh, China, mm. effectively. But it's also a messaging system through WeChat, which is the most you know, widely used Asian uh, messaging yeah. system. It's yeah. also a payment system through TenPay, mm. remembering that Asia is becoming a bit of a cashless society. You pay for everything with your phone. Mm. So for me, it's an all-encompassing stock that has really got everything that American tech offers, but in a one-stop uh, one stock. Mm. That said, it's the biggest weighting in the Emerging Markets Index. So mm. Emerging Markets have had a a tough time, mm. and of course Tencent's been sold as the biggest player in the emer biggest weighting in the emerging market index. But for me, on 28 times forward earnings, growing at about 30%, I think it's a cheap stock now, okay. around 350 Hong Kong dollars. Okay, and you have a, a, a longer term view of all these yeah. key Chinese stocks and Asian stocks, because you think this is where world growth and population growth and the technology the collide. Middle yeah. classification of Yeah, look, of I, I think that you know where population and technology collide mm. with big addressable markets and almost monopolies is where you'll make money over the mm. medium term. I think buying large cap Chinese tech stocks during an inverted commas trade war will probably prove a very good idea. Mm. Albeit, I think that this trade war noise could go on to the November midterm elections. Yeah. You'll probably get more out of Trump, 200 billion, 500 billion, it'll be just big numbers, mm. right? That'll all probably cease around the November midterm elections mm -hmm. just after it. So I think there's an opportunity over the next few months to add to those big Chinese or Asian-facing tech stocks, including Samsung, mm -hmm. which have huge addressable markets, long-term earnings growth, great balance sheets, and to me, the population growth as well. Young populations <laughs> driving demand for those technological products. Let's have a look at Apple, which has yep. become a, a trillion-dollar yeah. company. 
for people who have never got into Apple, is it too late, Charlie, do you think? Oh, look, maybe, but look, the trillion dollar thing is just a headline. At the end of the day, the stock's on about 13 times earnings, 14 times earnings. Its earnings base is enormous. Its mm. cash flow is enormous. Its cash hoard is enormous. It's doing the biggest buy on market buyback in world history right mm. now. Mm. So it's buying back its shares due to the tax changes in America. So, look, I look, Apple shares could go high. I've been wrong on Apple. I thought around $150, they're probably pretty fully priced. They've now gone to $200. Mm. So, look, that. The trillion dollar thing is just a, it's a noise, you know. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, the company's earnings were better than expected, the company's earnings growth is better than expected, and it's not an expensive company on 13, 14 times earnings. Whereas something like a Netflix on 100 times forward earnings is, is probably yeah, grossly, that's where, grossly that's where I work. That's, and also that sort of has ramifications for Australia. There's a lot of you know, tech stocks in Australia now on 50, 60, 70 times earnings. You've mm -hmm. just got to be a little bit careful. So you think some of the Australian tech stocks have been caught up in the hype. Yeah, and no they doubt. really haven't got the potential to offer well, the... Well, you just, you've got to remember the risk you're taking. Mm. You know, if you pay 100 times future earnings, you really need the future earnings to turn up. Mm. And look, history has been littered in Australia with, you know, tech stocks getting a little bit carried away and they're not living up to the, the hype that they have, they're pricing in. So mm. I would be far more interested in buying Chinese tech stocks, large cap tech stocks, or large cap American tech stocks mm. Than anything small cap in Australia that's on very high PEs. I right. think that's a better idea. My last question is, and we've talked about Apple, is cl its clear rival, of course, is Samsung. Does Samsung look like a better buy from your point of view? Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. I think they're both great companies. I think, look, the one I really like is Alphabet. Mm -hmm. Google, to me, looks a cheap company. It'll be the next trillion dollar company mm -hmm. in terms of market cap. It's currently 850 billion. Mm -hmm. It had excellent earnings, got huge cash balance, and is just the dominant player in search. Mm -hmm. And if search goes to voice, it'll dominate that as well. So I think, look, Alphabet will probably be the next one after Apple will be a trillion dollar company. Mm -hmm. Samsung's got some interesting products, but again, you'll find that the biggest money in the world goes to the biggest stocks and the vast bulk of them in American, and they'll probably continue to drive this. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Thanks Charlie Aitken of Aitken Investment Management. And I'm Peter Switzer. Thanks for joining us for Switzer Investing Insights, brought to you by NABTRADE.